And thanks for joining the Mudise Network. It's our premiere show this evening. As we said, we go from sport to art. And it's Africa Month for that matter. So let's talk about theater in modern Africa. And how well are we telling our stories on stage? I'm joined by the Market Theatre Artistic Director, James Ngobo. I'm James. Pleasure to have you us. And uh, Jobek City Theatre's Artistic Director, Makhaulan Debele. Yes. Well, here we are. And uh, you run three theatres, am I correct? Yes, yes, yes. Mainly based in Soweto because mm -hmm. it's the smallest of the three. So the, this is the one, the baby that needs the most attention. Yes, go ahead. And how are you participating in Africa Month? Um, we had a nice Africa Month uh, concert um, yesterday called um, the Liberation Concert um, from the Liberation Project. Um, it's, it's really a concert uh, celebrating Africa and with African music. And um, we started off um, the Africa Month with uh, a, a celebration of Oprah Huma Sekela. Um, we took um, three, three, three projects that um, Brahu had did in theatre because a lot of people don't know his theatrical contribution. James had done um, Songs of Migration. Um, Babu Mungenengema had done um, uh, Sarafina, which we all know. And then uh, the last project was um, Gone Native, which I directed. And we put that t together with Spongile uh, Kumalo and Taniswa. Mazwai, and we, we made a beautiful celebration to open the month. Well, I found Gone Native very interesting, but briefly, um, James, let's talk about your program for Africa Month at the Market Theatre. Yes, I've just directed a, um, a piece called um, a, a, a Song for Our Legends, um, working with the Department of Arts and Culture, where we honored Bra Hu, Bra Kefas, Bra Jonas, um, Mam Dorothy, Mam um, Dolly, uh, Busum Song. In the Brow Theatre because it's now it is now matched with 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 the market theatre. But but the, the, those kind of activities. I mean, Mahal and I um, three years ago we worked uh, um, on a piece, a play that I didn't even know that Mahal uh, um, 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 suggested called Musadi Ong Nelieng <laughs> written by Mema Cheke. Yeah, from, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we yeah. drove from to Mizu to, yeah, to yeah. Maseru to yeah. speak to her son, yes. and he mentored the director who was directing. It was such an amazing mm. piece that spoke to also a, 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 like a sadic element. That that was the first time that the market theatre stage a work written by a, a playwright from Lisbon. Sure. Well, you mentioned something about Gone Native, and it's uh, something that I think is very relevant to Africa Month, and I want to raise a point about it. But let's take a, a look at this slip. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you make the point without making the point, but tell me a little bit more about it. And of course, this month we were encouraged to speak in our home languages and to also learn to speak other people's languages. Yes. I think language is very important. You know, uh, Ngugi Watyong always says, uh, a language carries culture. And um, I don't think you can, you can carry your culture in another language. Mm. Um, and um, you, Brahu always uh, talked about this woman who, who was a figure in the 50s, um, which was Regina Brooks, and um, who had grew up in the farms in Frede, had come to town and fallen in love with, with an African gentleman called Ukumalo. Mm. And um, how, you know, she was the talk of the town and then they, 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 they got arrested for the Immorality Act. And they were the first uh, couple to win. They actually won on appeal at, mm. the, at the Supreme Court. But basically, um, it, it, here was a woman who was a, enable, a, a European woman who was able to be influenced um, by, by 
by, by the, her surroundings, which is important in the sense that, you know, that's why they say they, 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 they've gone native. Mm, mm. And, um, and um, here she was, uh, she fell in love who she, who she fell in love with, but she wasn't allowed in the time. So I think it was relevant for young people today or, or as we live today to say it is possible for us to be influencing and not always be the ones who are being influenced. And we can only do that, I think, most powerfully through our languages. And as James just said, part of what we were, we were trying to do, we've always been talking there for years, mm. is to say we need to be telling our stories in yeah. our own languages, not just for the month, but just generally as part of life. Which, which leads me to, to this point. I mean, that firstly, we find it odd that a white South African speaks in an African language, right, as, as depicted in the play. Even now, mm. many people would find it very, very funny when yeah. that happens. What do you think about that? I mean, you find even in your space of uh, theater and acting and, and, and creativity that very few white folks speak African languages? Yeah, it's very true. And, 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 and it's something that I feel even on a, a government level from when, when kids are um, um, at, at primary school that it, we need to inculcate a new culture in this country. And what you were saying, Elibratim, it's about curiosity. It's about uh, um, 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 when you've got the nuance in your own language, then that should automatically make you very curious about other people's uh, um, 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 languages and how people express things. So even in a theater space, we, we, we still struggle a lot, um, um, you know, even when you're doing musicals, to find somebody who, who can uh, um, um, sing Gastwana or Gaspedi and Mutu Ogile Khoa, you know, and so it's, some, it's something that absolutely has to change. And about language, we produced, I commissioned a guy called Mwakindise mm -hmm. to write a piece called Lipatata which was set in 1857 in, in, in Kurman about the Batlapping. And I remember I had an interview and somebody said to me, are you going to have subtitles? And I said, we're not going to explain Sichuan in this country. Mm. Mm. We can do that if we're in Belgium. You know, and we, we then staged the, the work and people came to see it mm. and, and it was directed well th that even for people who don't have access to Sichuan as a language, that, but they were able to, mm. to understand the mm. biographies in the mm. play, the tension in the mm. play, the world of the play. But it's something that we absolutely need to, to do more in this country and to just be, uh, um, 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 uh, uh, be receptive to the fact that there are different lilts, different languages, different dialects, and you are only but richer if you can tap into that. But yes. on the other hand, I mean, is it the function of theater to promote languages? I mean, on television, do we see enough of that? And television is the most accessible, I suppose, of all artistic content, if one may call it that. And you also mentioned uh, the role that government can play because itself government does not communicate in African languages. Yes, yes. Yeah. I think it needs to change in all fears. I mean television as you say comes into your living room every day um, so it's an, it's an important thing and I think what, what it does is that it, it, it just gives us more insight into one another and we'll be stronger as a nation because of that. I think, I think it's so important to, to, yeah, to, to go beyond just even, I mean I, when I grew up people used to struggle with my name those mm. were you know and and you know you couldn't get, even cut, get past the name mm. but now it's 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 not enough it's it's to 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 see behind behind what 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 we are wearing if 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 i could put it that way sure and and the creativity given the times we live in there's still there's now emerging tensions it appears in, in south africa i'm sure everybody will will agree to that yes particularly on racial lines again yeah. just when we thought we we're moving away from that and finding common meaning shared values and so forth that thing is disappearing how does it inform and influence the work of creative people like yourself uh, james we definitely as curators i always say we have to echo um, 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 the spirit of the country, the, the tapestry of the, uh, that you find in, 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 in the country. And we are finding ourselves at a very interesting space because of the metamorphosis that this country has gone through since 1994. That we, the way we curate now, we really have now cast the net wider and looking for those uh, um, um, stories that talk to how, how people are meeting each other in this country. Because if you remember, you, you know, we, 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 we 
even had sections of this country that was divided um, um, in a tribal mm. way. Mm. You go to Soweto, yeah. you know, Kladi, yeah. Mletsane, and yes. you, Yunzola, Mdeni, and uh, you know, I myself, I come from Devon, and 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 I grew up in an area where I just had one language, and and no Gyakona who are to Tlibatu, you both suit to Libona. But all of that for me excites me because it becomes the muse for the works that we, 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 we get to, to, to program. And, and I mean, we did a piece last year, the market called Tamasha on Hope Street, which yeah. was an Indian place set in Deben in Chatsworth. Sure. And this Indian girl, again, around issues of forbidden fruit, she's in love with this guy, this yeah. black guy. Yeah. She thinks he's South African. When she gets to know him, she realizes he comes from Zambia. And himself, he's been sort of pretending as if he is South African. It makes such an amazing yeah, play. Yeah. Well, when audiences watch it, they go, I know these characters. I'm having a wonderful Saturday evening, and thank you very much for being my guests. Because, you know, when you talk to creative people, we can go on and on, and we are going to go <laughs> on and on in a moment as we try to get South Africans back to the theater. Do they go? I suspect they do, but there's still much more work that can be done.